it's time to slam now We got the real jam going down Welcome to the Space Jam Get your chance, do your dance at the Space Jam Hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Barkley, Shut Up and Jam, Guide. Uh, this game came out, I honestly, how bad language option, it's real. Uh, this game came out several years ago, I do believe, and uh, oh, it's just gonna repeat. Okay. Uh, I completely forgot it existed. I remembered hearing about it when it came out, but I forgot about it. And this is going to be my first time experiencing Barkley Shut Up and Jam Guide. Chapter 1 of the Hoops Barkley Saga. There's a sequel in the works. Uh, it's not out yet, though. <laughs> okay. So I know the premise of the story. What is canon? Canon to what? I'm not explaining the premise of the story to you, because it's about to be explained to you, but... Uh, the only thing you need to know is that Space Jam and Barkley Shut Up and Jam, the, the real thing, is considered canon for the purpose of this story. The year is 2053. Basketball is dead. My name's Charles Barkley. I'm one of the last B-Ball stars alive. In 2041, basketball was made illegal, and almost all B-Ballers were massacred in what is now known as the Great B-Ball Purge. I lived, but lost my reason for living. B-Ball was gone. I live in the post-cyberpocalyptic ruins of Neo New York <laughs> with my 12-year-old son, Hoops. I've given him all I can, but sometimes I wonder if it's enough. Oh, God. Dad, Dad, watch this! Fantastic animation. Impressive hoops. Your dribbling has gotten much better in the past few weeks. That's Belthios, the afternoon great grandson of LeBron James. He doesn't like to talk about himself, but he's a good guy. Right, Dad? You've gotten better, huh, Dad? Dad? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, you've gotten a lot better, son. What's the matter, Dad? Nothing, Hoops. I was, uh, just... just thinking. Thinking about B-Ball, huh? Yeah, that's it. I was thinking about B-Ball. Hoops, why don't you go play some VidCons? I want to speak to Mr. James for a moment. Sure, Dad. Thanks for the dribbling tips and the wall scrolls, Mr. James. No sweat, kid. Keep on practicing, though. Sure will. You were thinking about her again, weren't you, Charles? Hmm? Maureen. You were thinking about Maureen, weren't you? Why does it look like Morpheus? He reminds me so much of her. The way he moves, his enthusiasm for the game, his eyes. You still blame yourself for what happened. Yeah, Balthios. Yeah, I do. It won't happen ever again. I... I just can't stand knowing all, that all of this... everything... could be different. Barkley, you don't need to... Yeah, Balthios. I know, but I swear on the grave that nobody will ever suffer a chaos stunk again. Neo New York is a big 
this disgusting city. And the strong boy the weak for what few Neo Shekels they get. Hand over those Neo Shekels. But I need them to buy food. Crime is everywhere. Weariness and despair behind every corner. Give me them. <laughs> Come on, bro. Let's get some chips. No, my neo shackles. Why the fuck does a bum ass hobo have that much money? Break news just in. A killing spree has been reported. The clock the cloaked Octoroon, known only as Ultimate Hellbane, has struck again, this time killing two men in the New York, New York Mall. Police reported signs of Zauber use, and Ultimate Hellbane is perceived, believed to have connections with the terrorist organization, Blood Moses. Uh, I want to know what that acronym stands for. Crime everywhere. The city's going to hell. Oops, I don't want you going out tonight. Ah, Dad. I must take my leave now. Bye, Mr. James. Goodbye, Hoops. Mr. Jordan. Mr. James. Jordan, what are you doing here? That's a nice way to greet a friend, Charles. <laughs> I was just in the neighborhood and thought I heard some dribbling. You've absolutely no grounds coming to this house, Michael. You know that. Really now? You were an all-star baller and I heard dribbling. I have a right to come in thanks to the B-Ball Confiscation Act. Why are you saying I don't have that right? I'm saying you're a son of a bitch, Jordan. <laughs> I'll play a game, Barkley. This time. Oh, and hoops. Yeah? Keep practicing. Hoops. I'm going out to get some medicine. Okay, Dad. You okay, Dad? Yeah, hoops. I'm gonna be okay. Oh, I finally have control. Look at that. There are so many pregnant pauses in that dialogue. My collection of CDs. At least Jazz hasn't been outlawed yet. Not like Ball. Ball's life. Bling. Maureen's ring. Can I get some lore on that? Nope. Alright. I appreciate the basketball sounds on the uh, menu. Like I said, I'm playing this blind. And uh, the game's pretty humorous. I don't know too much about basketball. It's been a long time since I've watched this sport. So some jokes might go over my head. I heard you guys were yelling at Inspector Jordan upstairs, Barkley. That son of a bitch. He was the first baller to join the b-ball removal department. He did it just to save his own skin. He's changed, man. I remember when kids looked up to him. He's become a monster. Maybe. Maybe I've become a monster. What was that? Nothing, Gus. Nothing. I'm trying to sound like the voice that was clearly some dude just uh, down-pitched sizably. It's not working out so well. Hey, it's the bump. Spare Neo Shuckle. Okay. What is this? Ah, console video games, or vidcons as I call them. The ultimate medium of expression, able to convey any emotion ranging from hatred to love, loyalty to fear, all in front of our eyes. Ah, and with lovingly crafted art, music, and the ability to control the action, vidcons are the ultimate combination of the high arts. While I tend to play the stoic, I will be the first to admit that VidCons have driven me to cry, to scream and shout, to feel actual hate. 
Such is the power of this force beyond our wildest reckoning. And here I am before you to tempt your tongues with the taint of such a tantalizing topic. And the Japanese, the true geniuses behind the world of video games. Ha! I throw my scorn upon such incompetence of the West who would mock the true art of the Japanese with games such as Baldur's Gate and Madden. Perhaps it is that the West is not as intelligent as the East, but this is a matter for another day. Japan has given us such masterpieces, the Final Fantasy series, Star Ocean, Wild Arms, and of course, Ark the Lad. Yes, some of the finest vidcons in the world were created by Japanese. I come to you today to ask to you in all earnesty, what is your favorite vidcon? I will reveal mine after the grand debate has lustrously begun, but not before the first poster falls victim to my plot of discussion. That's going to happen every single save point. It's going to be a different speech every single time. But it will happen every single time. Uh, I was reminded this game existed by the Deep Listens podcast, which I have mentioned in another Let's Play, which might have not gone up yet, considering this is the side of Let's Play to Fairy in Historia. Move along, citizen. Calm down, Robocop. Hey, you want some Ecto Cooler? Got the best shit there is. Don't trust none of them other guys. 35 Neo Shackles is the best I can do. Come by any time, my man. Uh, so, I know a couple things. I didn't listen to the entire podcast because there would be spoilers. You look like you need a hit of some chups. I got the cheapest stuff in town. Homegrown chup. House of the Glaucomas. Love that sound. Uh, I'm good though. No oh, thanks, man. I'm in perfect health. This parking lot? This used to be a basketball court. That must have been a sight. People playing b ball in public. Pretty wild, huh? You've got no idea. Before the great b ball purge, this place would be packed. Bands on the sidelines. Ballers playing pickup games till dusk. Hell, sometimes they have games going till they shut the lights off, even after. It was a different time. A diff. Whoa, pal, I'm gonna stop you right there. I ain't no sport lover, and I don't like where this conversation's headed. There's cops around, you don't know who's listening. Beat it before you say something we're both gonna regret. You. Man. Times are hard in Neo New York. Please, help me. Just one more chicken fry. God damn it. You would know from the way I look, but I used to be a Square Enix Goya ex executive. I disagreed the new aggressive marketing campaign that took it all away. My house, my car, my family. Now look at me. A lousy bum on the street. Spare me, chump. The post cyberpocalypse has built tough times for everyone. Everyone's got a sob story. Tell me yours ain't going to do a damn thing. Whatever. You know what? You're just like those pigs at Square and Scoia. Concerned only with themselves and their own wallets. You, you need help. Yeah, can I go in here? No. Okay, well, let's figure something else out. Hey, man, I got the shit you need. Just take a look. Hey, yeah. I'm pretty poor, though. Uh, let's see. Power is gonna go up. Bye, volleyball. Speed goes down. I don't know what guard or brain does yet, but I understand how power works. Get out of here, man. Alright. I'm jacked. I'm good to go. As soon as I find the first fight, I'm gonna kill people. I know what genre of game this is. You might be thinking, oh man, what a nice adventure game. Made an RPG maker. It's made an RPG maker because it's an RPG. Yes. It's a Japanese RPG basketball game. Kid, where are you out? What are you doing out here at night? You should be at home. Kid, can you hear me? You should be at home. I'm, uh, sorry, kid. Get somebody, kid. I'm a nice guy. So is Charles Barkley. <laughs> uh, I want to talk to this guy. It's so cold out here. What are you doing outside, man? The church is right there. They've got a heater. Go on in. Yeah, no, I was just in there. I just I hate spending all day in there, you know? I feel like a fucking leech. I just got no place else to go. 
There's some guys that sleep in there. Can't do that. Yeah, I hate the cold. Just every minute I spend in there, I feel more useless. <laughs> I know I must sound like a fool. Hey, it ain't my problem. Do what you want. Alright. I guess I'll see ya. Church of Clispath. A joke I'm not getting. The other side's warmer. What's that supposed to mean? I mean, the heating ducts are on the other side. Nowadays, the only reason people come here is to get away from the cold, it seems. Definitely not for the teachings of Clispath. At any rate, sometimes I feel like the last believer on Earth. If only they would let him into our hearts. What do you think, son? About what? Lisbeth? I couldn't care less. This rotten city is hell enough to deal with. I don't got the time to worry about another one waiting for me down the road. Got a son to take care of. I look out for him. I don't got the time to give a damn about your god. That's... that's blasphemy! Lisbeth is a loving god, I assure you. But I still think it unwise to tempt his wrath. Then so be it. If Clisbeth exists, he's already taken enough from me. I'd like to see him try for any more. Alright. Talk to this guy and we'll see if we can't progress the story some more. Charles, I, uh, I haven't seen you in here since the... Yeah, Larry. That was a long time ago. <laughs> Fucking Larry Bird. I don't know what to tell you, Charles. I'm sorry. I know it wasn't your fault. I don't need your goddamn pity, Larry, acting like you give a damn just because you're a priest now. You know shit about what happened. You got no business acting all buddy-buddy just because we used to be friends. Shit's changed, bird. This ain't the golden age of b-ball anymore. You know more than anyone else should know this. You think I sold out, Barkley? You think I sold out because I'm not absolutely miserable like you? You got no place to say that shit, Bird. You think it's fucking easy to raise a kid on my own? You think it's easy to be alone now when I need more read more and other Bird? Charles, keep your voice down. This is the house of God. You know damn well it was my fault, Larry. You know all this shit is my fault. You got no place to say otherwise. God damn it, man. Why'd you come here, Charles? You didn't come for here for this. I... I don't know, Larry. Just kind of wandered in here. Maybe I was thinking about her, I don't know. She was a woman of Clispath, Charles. Clispath? God? You think I believe in that shit now? After all that's happened, you think I can just pray to Clispath and everything will be okay? Shit's changed too much. I'm, uh... I'm gonna go now. Barkley. What? Don't do anything rash. Yeah, Larry. Yeah. I like the sweater vest I'm rocking. Never mind what we just talked about. Okay, so, uh. What was I going out here for again? Damn bird thinks he's making a difference. Shit's never gonna be the same around here. I'm not controlling this. Whoa! That tree ain't ever gonna be green again. Kids going to the b-ball court ain't ever gonna happen. And Chin Shop ain't ever gonna be like it used to either. Shit's never gonna be like it was. Starting to see things. Better get some medicine from Chin Shop to get back home and catch some Z's. Right, medicine. I want you to note that this sign, I have no idea if this is like an actual Chinese slash Japanese word, but I can read all four of these kanji. And the bottom one, I'm pretty sure I know. Let me see here. So the top one is lightning, then it's middle, then it's middle, then it's little. Not really sure. I little also is small, and the middles could also be center. I, I 
I don't know. Sup, Shin? What you got for me? Old Chinese guy figures. Hiya, Barkery. You hear that ultimate hellbane? That guy that killed all those people? Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, he one tough customer right here. Uses Albus. Zawas. Kinda makes you wonder how Burado Mazes got their hands on such powerful weapons. Yeah. Didn't you just kill those two guys at the mall? Yeah, yeah. They say he out for more tonight. That's why I always carry my square and score your gun. Can't be safe around here no more. Top of the line, too. So why are you here, Sway Bakri? What you want? I'm not feeling so well. I need some medicine. Oh, I want the medicine, Barkley. But I give you this Ecto Cooler. Make you feel better, huh? Yeah, thanks a lot, Shin. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Hey, and Barkley. You? Don't let that uh, ultimate hell bane get you. Steroids? Ah, oh, yeah, now we're talking. I'm really not good at the whole stereotypically racist Chinese Japanese accent. But, uh. Damn it if I'm not gonna give it a shot, because this game is. offensive. And designed to be offensive, it seems. God damn, I'm tired. Hoops must already be in bed. Let's see what's on TV. Glad we still have TV in this post cyber apocalypse. The ultimate hellbane has struck again, this time at the Eastern Motors Car Company, slaying three men once again with Zaubers. That's it. Hoops and I are getting the hell out of here. This place has gotten too dangerous. Ugh, I'm getting tired. Oh, oh my god. Man, Manhattan has just been completely destroyed. Ten million people are expected to be dead, with the estimates ranging up to fifteen million. Dear God, this is the most awful thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm, I'm sorry, folks, but I, I just wasn't prepared for this. Details are extremely limited right now, but the damage was believed to have been caused by a chaos dunk. Yes. Yes, it has been confirmed that the destruction was caused by a chaos dunk, meaning that Charles Barkley is the perpetrator. Barkley being the only human alive capable of performing a chaos dunk. It... It doesn't matter if you believe in Krishna, Muhammad, or Chris Payeth. Now is the time to pray, Neo New York. There he is! Get him! Charles Barkley, you are under arrest for performing a chaos dunk that killed 15 million people and associating with Blood Moses. Give yourself up or we'll be forced to terminate you. What? What's going on? Jordan, why are you here? Where's Hoops? What's happening? You are under arrest for performing a chaos dunk. Surrender yourself and face the consequences. What? I didn't do a chaos dunk. Jordan, you know damn well I, never, I swore never to perform another chaos dunk 12 years ago. Well, he has long enough time to change your mind. Man, I'm resting. I, I didn't do it, Jordan. This is a mistake. I don't know anything about blood Moses. You're a sick, sick little man, Barkley. I gave you time to get over Marine and B-Ball, but I guess that just wasn't enough. I mean, you got a kid, Barkley. I thought you'd grown up. Execute this bastard. You son of a bitch, short. Nope. Uh, was really not expecting there to be quick time events. That uh, Game over. Rip. I don't know what the cancel button is and what the action button is. <laughs> okay. Kurt Cobain. Got it. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, I'm in there. Whoops! Shit, I'm not in there. I need a quick time event for that? Uh 
Oh. We escaping. G God damn it. Give yourself a mockery. No way in hell. Huh? That damn kid stole my vintage Goya Cannon Mark II. After him! This is the end of the line, Barkley. You got no choices but to surrender. Tell us what you know about Blood Moses. Barkley, this is your last chance to surrender. Tell us everything you know about Blood Moses. Think of your son. Oops. You wouldn't dare hurt him, Jordan. You goddamn coward. You wouldn't dare hurt him. Surrender. And it won't come to that. Okay. Okay, I'll give myself... Don't do it, Charles! What? what Barkley, this way. Was that you, Jesus? Damn it, Barkley. You got away this time. But you're a wanted man now. Won't be you next time. What the hell is going on? Who are you? Where's Hoops? I... I do not think I can fully explain what is happening. There's someone I'd like you to meet. Someone who can make some sense of this to you. No. You can tell me what the hell is happening right now or I'm gonna... I... I'm gonna do something I'll regret. I'll tell you this much, Barkley. No matter what happens, I'm on your side. It doesn't mean anything to me. I have no idea who you are. For I know you could be the ultimate hellbane. I... am the ultimate hellbane. What? What the hell? What the hell is going on? I don't know nothing about no blood Moses and I sure as hell don't want nothing to do with it. What the hell is this? Barkley, the man I killed, I... I'm not a murderer. They were agents of blood Moses. I'm not a terrorist and I'm not one of the bad guys. I'm here to help you. Because... Because I know you're innocent. And I believe the same people that wronged me so long ago are the ones that are trying to hurt you. What's that supposed to mean? I'm supposed to believe you now because you think I'm innocent? Hell no, you're a murderer and I don't want nothing to do with this shit. Charles, please, you need to believe me. Just before Jordan came for you, I, I took Hoops somewhere safe. Somewhere Jordan and Blood Moses can't get him. Hoops is... safe? He's at the church, Barkley, with Bird. They can't get him there. I'll... I'll listen. I'm here to help you, Barkley. I can't tell you who I am right now, but I know that you didn't do it. I know you've got to be a little confused, and there's a lot of questions you want answered. There's someone I think you should meet that can help you, Barkley. You've made enemies tonight, and you need all the help you can get. Please, Barkley. Please believe me. I... I don't understand what's going on at all, but if... You can help me... I'll take any help I can get. We're going to need to move fast. There's no doubt in my mind that both Jordan and Blood Moses are looking for us. We'll need to make haste. Wait, where are we? These are the B-Ball Catacombs, the final resting place of some of history's greatest ballers. It's... it's an ancient site, but it's been used up until... the... Purge. We... should make haste. Yes. Let's get going. One more thing. I have some battlers tomes you might want to read before venturing forward. You can check them in your item pouch. Uh, let's check those out. Whilst traversing the plains, you will undoubtedly encounter ghastly creatures. Below lies battle fundamentals. Attacks use muscle strength to determine damage on monster versus a guard. Brain attunement will affect the damage you take and deal from skills. So be sure to be sharp as a jewel encrusted dirk. Speed will allow you to be more accurately hit ghoulies and dodge attacks, in addition to being granted more turns. Ooh. BP is your vitality points. Once depleted, they will banish your soul to hell. BP takes how many skills you can use before resting. Once battling fiends and foes, you may have encountered ailment to impede your travels. Glance below at the most common ails. Montezuma's. Guard have for three turns. Handy capable. Brain have for three turns. Okay. Okay. Timeout. Speed have. Stroke. Light dormant. Fouled. Miss a turn. 
The blow conditions will stick after battle. Be sure to disinfect your wounds. Diabetes. Lose 5% of vitality each turn. Glaucoma. Hit percent halved. Asperger's. Makes social situations awkward. And Parkinson's. Power halved. Okay. That's sufficiently offensive for this game. Stat curses blessings. In battle, you can be blessed with higher stats or cursed with lower stats. Always count your blessings and never fail to curse your foes. Targeting. Every gas has intrinsic weaknesses. Use the proper ways to excel. Your foes to certain mises. Items. Unguent. Always use potions when your VP is dire. Be sure to revive allies and cure ailments that are damaging. Galled. Tails, is, Tails series right up here in here. Spend your zenny wealth wisely. Money is yet another tool of battle. Wait, so... Galled is the word for money and zenny is the currency? Lastly, preparation can be the difference between life and non-existence. Okay. Why not? Uh, let's... It's actually been a half hour, so let's get our daily dose of whatever the hell this guy is and call it a day. It has come to my attention that in certain circles, simian-minded individuals are referring to vidcons as vidcons. Ignorantly placing a space between vid and con. Perhaps their brains have dulled by years of Madden and Quake, rather than mentally invigorating games such as Ark the Lad and Growlancer. Because even a child could tell that placing a space between the vid and con and vidcon is perhaps more profoundly fail esteem than a certain American administration that need not be named. Placing a space in VidCon completely belittles the meaning of the word and displays a user's blatantly minuscule intellect and misunderstanding of the basic precepts of grammar. VidCon is the perfect marriage of the words console and video game, creating a short and effective portmanteau that quickly and accurately labels mentioned objects and anybody who does not immediately recognize VidCon as absolutely outrageous clearly lacks the mental fact and faculties to correctly operate a VidCon other than perhaps FIFA Sports. I make this point because I have recently been belligerently barraged by imbecilic VidCon references that unnerve me to no end and have taken it upon myself to correct the damage that your poor Western education, though this is a subject we discussed on a later date, has wrought upon you. You should personally thank me that I did not see it fit to correct your preponderous mistake in Japanese, because I am thoroughly positive your Neanderthal mind will be incapable of deciphering the hiragana from the katakana. Ugh! That hurts me to... Oh god. Those are so accurately written, and it pains my soul. Also, this guy is clearly Balthios. Anyway... Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, stay tuned for next time when we investigate the B-Ball Catacombs, the homes, the final resting places of the greatest B-Ball players in the world. And no, in case you're wondering, they will never say the word basketball in this game. Ever. It's just b-ball. Bye.